Can I pay you something? Well, it comes from the ground free. We always give it that way. And thanks again. Daddy, ain't no hurry. I'll take the back trail to town and get to the Carter Ranch. Now, you make sure you remember everything that happened. You hear, Joe? people and we have to hide and steal our kisses. Well, it ain't gonna be much longer. You won't believe me either of you. Well, it's the gospel. What happened? Jason's come back. You're lying, Joe. No, I ain't, Frank. Millie and me both saw him. He stopped by our place not 15 minutes ago. Then he'll be here any minute. He went right into town. Town? Yeah, it surprised me, too. Well, why should it? That's where the saloons are, aren't they? Are you sure it was Jason? Sure as I'm standing here. Well, what did he have to say? Nothing. He just thanked us for the water and left. Better give your ma the good news. I'll take care of that. I appreciate you coming here to tell me, Casper. Well, that's all right, Frank. I'm glad to do it. Well, I'll see you later. You should be going into town now, eh, Frank? Maybe. What are you going to do, Frank? I don't know, but I'm not stepping aside to let him take over. How can you stop him? Well, I'll know more about that once I talk to him. Talk to him? What about? He's back now, and he's the boss. He can do anything he wants to, and you can't stop him. He ain't gonna take over this place. Frank, what about us, our plans? I want to get married, and I want to have a house, and... Well, you promised me. Well, plans change a little. Promises stay the same. No. I'm not going to live with a, with a worthless tramp and an empty-headed woman. I did that half my life, and I'm not going to do it anymore. Do you understand? I won't do it. Easy, honey. You're going to wake her up. And I don't want to know about Jason just yet. Now or, or later, what difference does it make? It could make a lot of difference until I talk to Jason. Now, you go back to town and you stay in your room. And honey, stay away from Jason. I was through with Jason five years ago. He was a mistake in my life and I don't want any more. Don't worry about it. Everything will be all right. Please, don't you be a mistake, too, please.
Jason. That's the second time today something... Any talking will be done in my office. Now get down off that horse. I don't know what this is all about. You'll Mr. find Mr. out soon enough. Get down off the horse. Inside. Let you ask questions out there on the street. Hand me the gun. I don't blame you for being confused, but you're like seeing a man come back to life. You're just making it more confusing. What's your name? Duke Shannon, scout for a wagon train. Now, let's have some answers from you. Astounding. Fantastic. I look, Mr. Uh... Bolton, Cyrus Bolton. There's a wagon train with over 200 people on it just four days east of here that needs supplies and equipment. I haven't got forever to find a town that can handle it, so let's quit talking in riddles. Everyone out there thinks you're Jason Carter. Never heard of him. He's dead, Mr. Shannon. He was killed in a border town saloon brawl almost five years ago. Uh, do those people think that I've come back to haunt them? Now, you see, I'm the only one who knows that Jason Carter is dead. He had some papers with my name and address on them. He had a thousand dollars, too, stolen from this safe. Of course, nobody sent back the money. If you haven't told anyone else, why are you telling me now? Because of Mary Carter, his mother. She loved Jason more than anything else in the world. When she heard what he'd done, it was too much for her. She tried so hard not to believe it that from that moment, her mind stopped. What do you mean, stopped? Just that, Mr. Shannon. She can't remember past the night Jason left town five years ago. She waits for him to come back home any minute. The doctor from the East told me that if she was to realize Jason is dead, the shock could kill her. I don't want that to happen. So I've kept the secret. But I won't have to keep it anymore if you will help me. Me? What can I do? Pretend you're her son, Jason. You want me to... You must be kidding. Well, you can do it. I knew it the minute I saw you riding up that street. I'm riding right out now. No, wait a minute, Mr. Shannon. Please, hear me out. You've got the whole town fooled. Sure, you're huskier looking, stronger. But five years is a long time. It's possible that even someone like Jason could have changed. No son can change so much that his own mother doesn't recognize him. And if that happened, the shock could kill her. But it could start her thinking right again. And then? Well, then I'll tell her the truth, the way it should have been done before, slowly, not by a bunch of cackling women. I'll pay you, Mr. Shannon, a hundred dollars. Two hundred. There's no guarantee this will cure the woman. You don't strike me as a man who looks for guarantees in life. I'm not. How I live my life is my decision. But I don't think you or I have the right to decide life or death for Mary Carter. I'm sorry, Mr. Bolton. I came to this town to buy supplies, not to be a target. It wasn't you someone was shooting at. It was Jason. It's time we get the word out Jason's dead, because I'm not about ready to join him. Don't be waiting, please, Mr. Shannon. I don't understand the shooting. Well, I can't expect anybody to jeopardize his life. Just forget everything you said. Look, I, I don't want to hurt anybody, but I think don't say anything about Jason. Look, let's get off the street. I'll buy you a drink. You can ride out and I'll find a reason for it.
Carter must mean a lot to you. I've loved Mary Carter for more years than I can remember. When Jason was a small boy, his father died. I thought Mary and I would marry, but she had more faith in the land than in a struggling young lawyer. So she married a farmer. He also had a small son. In two years, he had drunk himself to death. What happened to the stepson? Frank Carter. Mary raised him as her son, but all her affection went to Jason. Where's this Frank now? He runs the ranch. Mary doesn't know it, but what little they have, she can thank him for. Then if her son did come back, Frank would stand to be pushed out again, wouldn't he? Frank's big and strong, and he'd fight for what is his, sure, but not with a gun. People have used a gun for a lot less than a ranch. Of course. As a lawyer, I know that better than most people. Duke, you're right. This is not your problem. Well, wouldn't everyone wonder if I up and left town again? Well, something like that would be expected of Jason. Here comes Frank now. Where is he, Joe? Jim and Cyrus are in the saloon. Where are you going for anything special, Frank? for five years. I don't see any reason to change it. I have something to say about that. You had your say when you stole that money and run away. The first time in my life I got things going my own way. They're going to stay my way. He, Jason's leaving, Frank. He doesn't want any trouble. You'll find plenty of it if he stays here. I've handled trouble all over this country for the past five years. I can handle a little at home. Where you been all this time? Prison? Be surprised at the interesting people you meet in jail. And go back to them. This ain't your home, not anymore. You shot at me to make sure. What are you talking about? Well, somebody tried to shoot him a while ago. In the back. I never needed a gun to whip you before. Don't try it. I swore if you ever got back here, I'd give you the beating of your life. He's a thief, but jailbird, he made his more sick. What are you stopping me for? Every inch of that land belongs to Mary Carter. She's the one who settled it, cleared it, and built that house on it. Now you get back to the ranch. What for? I've got things to talk over with Jason, and I don't want a bunch of those cackling females to get to her first. You remember what happened the last time they did it. And don't you say anything either. Please, Frank. expect them to be. Well, don't let them give you no trouble, Frank. Did Jason have any friends? Bartenders and gamblers when he had the money. Duke, I... Jason, remember? I'm grateful. Very grateful. What changed your mind? Frank's so convinced I'm Jason. Maybe Mary Carter could be. I'm sure of it. There's a lot you have to know. Let's go to my office. First, there's Martha Chambers. Frank's on his way to see her now. Who is she? Well, she grew up here. Frank and Jason both loved her. She wanted to marry Jason, but his mother stopped it. She's keeping company with Frank now. Maybe she's the reason he's acting the way he is. Why do you say that? When a man is fighting as hard as Frank is, there's usually a woman behind it. You know, Cyrus, I've got to get on that wagon train business. Well, of course, the general store's right across the street. I 
think I'll get a bath and a shave while I'm at it. No, I don't think you ought to shave before seeing Mary. You look more like Jason this way. I'll be back in about an hour. Duke, are you sure you want to go on with this? I'm sure. But you'd better find a way out for me now that I'm in it. He doesn't look at all the way we expected. Well, he's been in prison. Cyrus thinks that seeing him might make Ma well again. Yes, and then everything's going to be just like it was before. Now, look, whether Ma gets well or doesn't get well, nothing's going to be like it was. Frank, don't you understand? I told him to leave town. He's the prodigal son. Everything belongs to him. Now, do you think he's just going to ride out of town and leave it all because you told him to? I'm sorry you ever tried to shoot him, Mist. Well, I'm not. If I find out who tried to do it, I'll whip him good. Whip him? You ought to thank him. Cyrus and Jason think I did it. If Jason had been killed, I could have been the one hung for it. Oh. Well, I, I never thought of that. Did you tell him about us? No. Didn't figure it was any of his business. Didn't he ask about me at all? Now, why should he? Oh. Frank, there's no reason to be jealous. It's just that what he feels about me could be very important to us. Why? Well, he... He still might blame me for everything that's happened. Why should he blame you? After he stole the money, he came to my room and wanted me to run off with him. And I, I told him, no, I wouldn't run away with a thief. And then he, he said he stole the money from me to get things I wanted. Well, well, I told him to get out or I'd scream, and so he ran. That's why I left town soon after that, because if anybody had found out about it, they'd have blamed me for everything. People love to think bad of a saloon girl. Well, if you'd picked me instead of Jason in the first place, you'd never gotten near a saloon. Yes, I know that. I know that now. But you never let me know how you felt before. You always let Jason get ahead of you. Well, not anymore. No. No, not anymore. So you see, if he still blames me, he'll do anything he can to hurt us. If he tries to hurt you, I'll kill him. The way Frank is fighting, I thought there'd be much more here. There's a lot here, all right, but not for the kind of farm Mary kept hoping it always would be. Frank was the one who saw it for what it really was, grazing land. Slow but sure, he's been building it into a good cattle ranch. It hasn't been easy. And Carter must have had more than her share of disappointments. You can understand why you wanted to take her away from all of it. I wish she could have seen it. And she was a determined woman. A farm was what she wanted. Nobody could beat her. Only when Jason threw her love back into her face. Or was it Shakespeare said, the most unkindest cut of all? He also said, one who loved not wisely, but too well. Is she awake, Frank? She's in the kitchen. Oh, Frank, I think Jason ought to go in alone. No. I want to see and hear everything. You're not getting ahead of me again. 
That's all right with me. Well, it's not all right with me. As far as your mark can remember, you've just been gone overnight, so why would Frank and I be with you? Wouldn't be natural. You remember how it used to be. You coming back from town, apologizing, feeling sick from all the whiskey. That's the way it's got to be now. Jason to get back. I am back, Ma. I, I don't blame you for being mad, Ma. Oh, I'm sorry, Ma. I... somebody else, Ma. We were drinking. It was a sort of a joke. Frank. Frank, why are you letting him do this to me? All right, dear. It's going to be all right. You just need a little rest and everything's going to be all right. Sheriff was still after you. I told her that was all past, and I explained tomorrow. It's easier said, Cyrus. Let's go outside. She might hear us. I'm no doctor, but I know you can't tell her the truth as long as she's so scared and confused. I know. She didn't act anything like I expected her to. It looked so easy, so so right, when I saw you. I don't know. Jason wouldn't dress like this, she said. No, and I should have let you shave, too. That was a stupid mistake on my part. Is clothes still here? Yes, there's a closet full of them. And I'll get cleaned up and right into town tonight, just like Jason always did. That might be a good idea, except... Except what? Martha Chambers. Don't you see, as Jason, you'd have to see her, and if Frank found out about it, he'd do anything. No, Duke, I can't let you do that. Don't be too long, Frank. I'll be one to get into town. You said it'd make her better, it made her worse. You asking or hoping? If she'd gotten better, she wouldn't have come to me, she'd have gone to you. You know, doctor, how do you know that? She wanted to know if the sheriff was still after me. She remember that? That's right. I never thought I'd say this. I hate your innards. But if your being here is going to make her well again, I'll tolerate you. <laughs> but if you got any idea of picking up where you left off, I'll whip you to your knees. Come on, let's give me those clothes. your life, they, they made a fool out of you. They're not going to make one out of me. 
You don't want that for us, do you? It won't be like that. Yes, it will be like that. You know it will be. Martha, I swear to you, as soon as Ma gets better, her and me, we're going to have an understanding. Frank, what's happened to you? A few hours ago, you were like a mountain lion, and now you're a mouse. It's just that, well, I kind of feel different well, about certain things. Thing. It's kind of hard to put it into words. Try. Well, when Ma first saw Jason, she was she was scared of him. Of Jason? Yeah. Cyrus was right there, but she came to me. She... she asked me to help her. She squeezed me hard than you can believe. It's the first time she ever put her arms around me. So she puts her arms around you and you melt like candle wax. Well, don't you know why she did that? She's afraid you run Jason off. So just like that, she loves you. No! She did it because she needed me. Frank, I need you. And I can squeeze tighter than she can. Frank, she's a woman fighting for a worthless son, but I'm a woman fighting for my man and my home. And I don't think I should share it with her. As your wife, it just isn't right that I should. All right. All right, but with Jason back, I, I've got to bargain for just half of it. Jason back, you'll get nothing. He'll give you nothing. It's Mars to give, not Jason's. But you earned all of it. If Jason weren't here, you'd get all of it. But he is here. You've got to understand that. And I want half the ranch. Mars got to understand that. All right. All right. Anything you say. I'm, uh, dressed for dinner. I, I'm sorry. Jason's got his mind up to come into town. Oh? He's got a lot to tell Ma, and I don't want him doing it all liquored up. Well, then you better get back. from a nightmare. That's what it was, Mary. Five years? Five years. I'm going to help you forget them, Mary. Seeing him again made me remember. All the women talking at once. Telling me that Jason had stolen money from you. Thief. That's all I could hear. And I couldn't remember anything. Nothing the women said to me after that made sense. Doctors say it was because of your love for Jason. They wouldn't let you believe it. Love? No service. Shame. Guilt that made me forget. You don't have anything to be guilty about, Mary. Oh, yes, I do, sir. Jason, I pampered him, protected. Poor little Frank was a goat. Jason was a lamb. I made him what he was, 
so filthy. No, Mary. When I heard he'd run away, I was glad. I prayed. Mary, there, there's something I ought to tell you. Well, that is, Jason has changed. Changed? Where is he now? Dressed, gone into town. He'll drink, gamble, come home tomorrow, sick and sorry. He's older. But he hasn't changed. Well, I thought it was your love for Jason that... That's why I thought... I don't suppose Jason's gotten into trouble already. Not this, Jason, I promise. Are you all right, Mom? I remember everything, Frank. Well, I'm glad you're all right. And now that Jason's back and you're feeling a little better, there are a few things we got to get settled. We'll settle it tomorrow. Your mother's in no condition. Well, I don't mean that we have to settle it tonight. I just want my feelings known before Jason gets any notions. Uh, where is Jason? Going into town. Already? I, why didn't you stop him? Frank, what is it you want to settle? Mary, listen. No, it, all right, Cyrus. Well, I know you never had it in your heart to love me. But I worked. I worked hard. And I figure I got a right to half the ranch. Now, before Jason loses it in some poker table. Frank! Shut up, Cyrus! I know he's your son, but after what he's done, no son deserves it all. I won't part with my half of it, Ma. I won't. He's been my son, too. Now it's too late to let him know. Mary, if Jason were not here, everything would be all right. No. No, I thank God he's come back. But... If anything had happened to him, it had been my blame. He came back because it had to be. Have faith, saith the Lord, and my purpose shall be known unto thee. One, you know, uh, I've been away for so long, I don't even remember where the old stage station is. Half mile, the other side of town.
Remember me? Have I changed so much? It's like seeing you for the first time. You're the same, but different somehow. It's been five years. Oh, yes, it has. Oh. Are you still angry with me? You belong to Frank now, Martha. I belong to you, and I always have. When you came into my room with that money, well, well, I just got scared. That's why I didn't run away with you. Please, you've got to believe me. Do I? And then, when your, your mother got sick, I, well, I felt responsible, so, so I left town. And every dance hall I worked in, I kept looking for you so I could, so I could beg your forgiveness. That's why I had to see you tonight, so I could tell you. After the way we parted, I didn't think you'd ever want to see me again. I mean, she had every right to feel that way. <sighs> Darling, it was all my fault. You'd leave Frank for me? Yes, I would. This time you won't have to steal any money. Because Frank has saved up $1,500 and he can borrow that much more from the bank. And so if you signed away any claim you have to the ranch, he'd give you $3,000. And I can meet you later somewhere. The ranch isn't worth $3,000. To Frank, it is. And remember, I can be very persuasive. You're not Jason. What are you saying, Martha? Jason never kissed me like that. It's been five years. Oh, it would take him 500 years to learn to kiss like that. Well, who are you? I'm Jason, Martha. Oh, you're lying. Now, look, I'm no 15-year-old kid. I know men. Now, where is Jason? Is he dead? No. No, he isn't dead. He's too selfish to die. sent you here, didn't he? You're a gunfighter, aren't you? Well, Mr. Gunfighter, what are you supposed to do? Get Frank into a fight so you can kill him? I suppose that would bother you. I was willing to pay $3,000 to, to get rid of Jason. Not because there's any love in him. Love. Love. Makes a woman suffer and die taking care of worthless men like my father and like Jason. Frankie, he means a fine home and, and a carriage and, and silks and satins. I got rid of Jason once to get Frank, and I'll do it again. You got rid of Jason? Yes. I made him steal, and I made him run. And then his precious mother got sick in the head and ruined everything. Was Frank in on this? He's not much better than Jason. He told me we'd get all the ranch, and now he wants me to settle for half. That's not enough for you. No, not if I can get all of it. And we can get all of it. If you would kill Frank and Jason. Does this square of land mean that much to you? It isn't just the land. It's Mary Carter's land. She told Jason that I wasn't good enough for him. But to her, you are Jason. And I just want to see her face when we walk in and tell her that we're married. Well, Mr. Gunfighter, what do you say? You won't be sorry, Jason. No, Frank. She's not worth it. Frank! Frank, you found me! You found me! Frank, he tricked me. He told me that you'd be here, and then he tried to force me to... Stop it, Martha! <laughs> Frank! Frank, he's a beast. He's a beast. 
If you love me, you'd kill him. You'd kill him! I went looking for Jason. You should have known Tabo would sell a soul for a bottle. How much Jason pay you to kill me? Jason's dead. You kill him? Been dead for five years. Cyrus Bolton will tell you all about it. There's a stage leaving tomorrow. Be on it. Come in. Where's Frank? The other room. I just came in to tell you I'm leaving, Mom. Leaving? So soon? I got business. Where are you going? South America. They got diamonds and gold there. All you have to do is pick them up off the ground. Gold and diamonds. Look, Ma, not everybody's made for ranching. Like me, I hate it. I always have. You've got Frank and Cyrus. You won't be lonely. Will I see you again before you leave? I'm leaving now. Goodbye, Ma. Jason, kiss me goodbye. Sure, Ma. I think it was a mistake to tell her the truth so soon. Frank. Jason is leaving for South America tonight. In about six months, get a letter saying he died of the fever. Say, say his last words were for her. Thank you, Mr. Shannon. Frank, you bring your wagon train to Clayton Duke. They'll get everything they need at friendly prices. They'll be here, but I won't. Goodbye. 